Welcome to part three of our big refactor. If you haven't seen the other two parts, I'd recommend you go back and check out part one and two before you jump into part three. So to get started with part three, obviously we need a way for the users to register their own fields. And to do that, they need a service provider. Now they cannot use the press-based service provider because that's our packages provider. We need a provider that they can publish to their project and modify themselves. So let's take care of that, plus have an example of a working custom field in this episode. To get started, we need to add a new directory. So that's gonna go inside the console directory, and in here, I'm gonna add a new directory, and I'm gonna call it stubs. Inside stubs, I'm gonna add a new PHP class. So the class name is gonna be press service provider. And now the namespace is actually not that. The reason being is that this is gonna get published to the actual app. So it's gonna be under app providers. Let's hit okay. And of course, we're gonna extend service provider. That's illuminate support service provider. Like every other provider, we're gonna need a boot method and we're gonna need a register method. In this particular stub, the register method's not gonna do anything, so I'm just gonna put a comment. So in my boot method, I do wanna have a nice default for the user to be able to tap into. So what I will do here is call my press facade, and remember the fields is the method that we're looking for. And so we know that this is gonna accept an array, so I'm gonna encapsulate that in its own method that I'm gonna call register fields. Let's implement that now. We'll keep that protected. And in here, I'm gonna return an array. Now for the stub, my array is gonna be empty, but remember that this will get published to the user's application. So from that, let's go ahead and rename this as a stub. So refactor, rename, and instead of PHP, we're gonna use stub. Okay, refactor that. All right, and we can close that. Now we need to make that service provider stub publishable. So let's jump to our press base service provider and scroll up a little bit to our publishable. And here it is. And I'm actually going to copy paste this and let's modify it. So let's change the path here. So this is console and then stubs and then press service provider dot stub. And it's going to be saved to the app path, right? We'll use that helper function providers press service provider dot php and as a nickname this will be press provider let's see if that's working in my test project php artisan vendor publish and sure enough we see it down here let's go ahead and publish it now 15 okay so it says that it copied it from our stubs to our app providers press service provider. Let's take a look at that now in Sublime. So in Sublime, press service provider, and there it is. It has been published to our project. So part of the installation instructions will have to be that if you wanna have your own custom fields, you have to publish this secondary press service provider and then register it with your application. So let's do that now. In my config app, Scroll down to the provider section and in package service provider, I'm going to add app providers press service provider. Just to make sure that everything is still running, I'm just going to run our command one more time. PHP artisan press process. Everything seems to be working okay. And now let's test this in this project. Let me open up our blogs markdown file that we've been working with and so let's add a new field here that we're going to call random and for now random is just going to be random string let's run our command one more time and boot up tinker and we do see our random string here however now we can take care of this random new custom field by adding our own field so back in Sublime, I'm gonna to go to my app, I'm gonna add a new folder here called Fields. And inside Fields, let's make a new file here. And we're gonna call this random.php. 
So let's write up our class real quick. PHP class random extends extends field contract. We'll have to import that at the top. Public static function process, which accepts three parameters: field type, field value, data. Now inside here we need to return an array. Our array is gonna contain random it worked. So that way we know that it was actually using this custom field. Now field contract needs to be imported, so use vitgonvt press fields field contract. Okay, so we have our new custom field, so now we actually need to register it with the service provider. So how would we do that? Right here, we're gonna add app fields random class to the list of available fields to be registered. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Exit out. Let's run press process. And it says that app fields randoms does not exist. Let's check it out. Oh, of course. I forgot my namespace. So namespace app fields. Okay, let's try it again. And there we go. It got processed. Let me boot up Tinker one more time. And sure enough, here we have it. Random it worked. So now users are able to add their own custom fields and all they would have to do is just make sure they extend the field contract and that they have this public static function with the name of process and just add that to their service provider so they can have any number of classes here now one final thought here we talked about being able to override the classes that already exist within our defaults right so if i want to override the title class I should be able to do that. However, with our current implementation, that actually would not work. And I want to prove it to you. I'm going to change this random class to title. So this is the class that we are expecting random to override. Let me change this to title and let me resave the file as title.php. We have this new title field that should make the title be equal to random it worked. So let's see what happens. I'm going to exit out, run press process one more time boot up Tinker and take a look at the results. So as you can see, it's nowhere here, right? Title is still my title and the slug is still the slug. So it's not currently working. Now the reason being is that we are grabbing the very first field that matches the name. However, if we jump back to our package here, I wanna show you what it's actually doing. Let's jump to my press class and in this available fields, I'm gonna die and dump this field. I'm gonna run this PHP artisan press process one more time. And there we go. We have a list of all of our fields. However, as you can tell, title is down here, followed by the user's title. So as it's iterating through all of these available fields, it will grab this one because it's the first one that it comes to. So back in PHP Storm, all I have to do is reverse this array right here. So I'm gonna array, reverse, this field and so that will flip the order of the array making sure that the users fields end up at the top and we're going to use those over our own fields that we have out of the box let me actually just modify this to title that way it actually bumps up to the title field all right one last time press process tinker and there we go now we see that our title is it work. So our custom fields are taking precedence over our out of the box fields. And with that, we've completed this full refactor. Now the concepts in these three videos are integral to a package development and allowing users to expand your package with their own custom fields, making your packages extremely useful for a wide array of different scenarios. This also allows users to not be limited by what ships out of the box with your package, but rather they can extend their own classes. Now this approach is not appropriate for every single scenario. However, in the cases of these fields, it is a perfect use case for something like this. I hope you can find really good use out of this method.